सो गाइज वी हैव रॉयल एनफील्ड हिमालयन टूडे फॉर द ऑयल चेंज फॉर रिप्लेसिंग द ऑयल वी आर एडिंग लिक्वी मॉली ऑयल फ्लश So this is Rikpi Molly's uh, engine oil flush. So before pouring new oil, we are uh, putting this oil flush, engine oil flush, and we will keep the bike on for at least uh, five to ten minutes. now we are going to start the bike and we'll keep it on for 5 10 minutes and after that once it cools down we will drain the engine oil we'll remove we'll replace the uh, oil filter and the oil so now we are going to start the engine so we have started the bike let it be at the idling for 5 10 minutes so that's it guys now we are going to stop the engine we will to shut the engine and then uh, we will replace the uh, engine oil oil filter so let it cool down for some time after that we are going to drain the engine oil so now we are going to drain the engine oil we will replace the oil filter with the original one here is the drain bolt we are anyway going to remove these two bolts also and there is one more drain bolt right here so we are going to drain the oil from this part this part and this part over here there is a oil level indicator minimum and maximum mark and here there is an oil filter so we are going to replace the oil filter as well so we are, we are going to drain the engine oil from the primary bolt it's completely black i think liquid molly engine oil flush has done its job So there is an oil strainer inside we are going to remove that strainer and clean it with petrol and we'll put it back we are not going to replace that strainer so we are using 12 number ring spanner and we are removing that drain bolt also so whatever oil remained inside the engine will come off
you can see here you will not see any oil here because we have already drained it so when we pour new engine oil probably i can show you the oil level so now we are removing the oil filter cap using uh, eight number t spanner We need to be very careful because we are not going to replace the uh, gasket here. We are just replacing the oil filter. Look at the condition of the oil filter. So we are not replacing the o-ring, the o-ring is good, yes yes, we are just cleaning it with the help of petrol, okay. even the strainer also we have cleaned it. Okay. So now we are putting the stainer back. In case if required, we have to replace the copper washer. Also the 12 number drain board 
at its place. So the new oil filter from Royal Enfield. So we are going to put liquid moly engine oil. So we are pouring new engine oil from liquid moly. So we have to keep an eye here so the oil level shouldn't go this mark it should be at least at this mark so what, what we are going to do is after pouring oil we will start the engine for a couple of minutes let the oil circulate and then we will see the level That's it guys, we will start the engine and we will see, thanks.